Hey guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to talk to you about warming up for screaming. Yeah! Now, if you're a singer and a screamer, then you already know what to do. Just do your singing exercise and get warm up uh, singing-wise before you start screaming. Um, but if you're not and you have no intention of learning how to sing, I would recommend go learn how to sing. It'll help out your voice and you overall a, a lot. And But if you have no, no intention of doing that, then this video is for you. Um, so if, like, let's say the night before you're smoking and drinking and screaming all night, you had a show, you blew out your voice. And the next day your voice is kind of hoarse, you woke up and you're talking like this. Now, screaming right away is not going to be good. The first thing I would recommend is drink a bunch of water, make sure you're hydrated first. And then go right to lip bubbles, which are essentially vocal massages. And this is going to sound silly if you're not a singer, which you probably aren't if you're watching this video. But you literally just go like... Just get out like a falsetto note, doing the and then bring it down your ray. <laughs> um, and it's, it almost feels like a nice vocal massage, which is probably kind of said that earlier. But that's a great way to warm up your voice, especially if you've had a rough night and your voice is already a little shot. Um, so the next thing I would recommend doing is just sliding up and down your range very gently. Don't don't stress anything at this point. Um, just just literally just. Uh, and if you if you have a good singing voice, then you probably already know what to do. But just work up your range. Don't stress anything at this point. Um, and then from there, just if you want, you can start doing scales. But I would just recommend going to songs that you know that are easy for you to sing. Um, if, if you sing. Um, <laughs> or if you don't sing, just pick some songs that you know that you could just kind of sing along to or hum along to. Put them on. Doesn't matter what it is. Just... It'll just get you in the habit of getting everything working correctly. And then from that point... I would recommend just starting your screaming thing. Now, obviously, don't just go for it. Start with something that's the least um, harmful to your voice. So, like, let's say you have high screams, pig squeals, and low screams, and you sing with rasp. I would recommend first just getting, for me, it would be the high scream. So, even before rasp, honestly. It, for some reason, it helps me get the rasp first, and it, I, less coughing happens. <laughs> um, so, I would just go like, yeah! Not too aggressively. And then since that's the easiest one, just go to rasp after. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, I'll go to the most aggressive one, which would be the low screams, which is like, And then you're basically warmed up. And from that point, you can go and do your set. Um, obviously, try to learn how to sing if you don't. I strongly recommend that you are a singer before you try to scream. Otherwise, you could probably really mess up your voice. If you're a singer, you'll know when you, you're doing too much because you've already known how much you can do singing-wise and the screaming, you'll, you'll have a much better feel. You'll be able to control everything in your throat more. Um, it'll help a lot. Um, so yeah, that's this whole video. I gotta go to work. Thanks for watching and have a grand day.